there's no doubt that, without science, we wouldn't be where we are today. However, it wasn't a walk in the park to get where we are today. There have been times where scientists completely missed the mark, and the aftermath was disastrous, to put it mildly. In fact, they nearly led to the extinction of the human race several times throughout history. So today, we're going to take a look at science experiments that could have ended the world. Number 10. The Kola Super Deep Borehole At some point in life, you might have wondered what's inside the center of the Earth, or, for a more scientific term, the Earth's core, and why haven't humans tried to drill the Earth and travel to that point? What a lot of people don't know is that humans have attempted to drill to the core of the Earth, and they almost ended the world doing so. The Kola Super Deep Borehole was a Soviet Union project that took place near the Russian border with Norway. They had one and only target. They wanted to reach 49,000 feet in depth. While they didn't exactly reach that goal, stopping at 40,230 feet due to the extreme heat that was emitting from the Earth, it's said that they've still dug so far into the Earth that nearby locals can hear the sound of the tortured souls in hell. We don't know much about our planet's geology, so can you imagine what drilling a hole to the center of the Earth could have done to the world? From the release of toxic gases that could have ended the human race to create a series of natural disasters that would have had a similar outcome, we're glad that they only stopped at 40,230 feet. Number 9. Trinity Test Nuclear energy is like a double-edged sword. It can be one of the strongest weapons when used right, as it has the capability of not only wiping out entire towns and cities, but also having a long-lasting effect that can last for years. However, when something goes wrong or unexpected, it can backfire. The Trinity Test was the code name of a test that took place in 1945. At that time, scientists had never seen a detonation of a nuclear bomb and had no clue as to how much energy would be released upon the detonation of a nuclear device. Some even had doubts that it would work at all. So what did they do, you might be wondering? Well, they detonated a nuclear bomb. Despite the fact that no one knew what was going to happen, they still took as many precautions as possible before the detonation of the nuclear bomb. The bomb exploded, yielding much more energy than they had predicted. As a matter of fact, it was an explosion unlike anything they had ever seen before, and it was compared to the explosion of 21 tons of TNT. Number 8. Large Hadron Collider Can you imagine building an accelerator that had scientists fearing it would create a black hole that could potentially swallow it whole? The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC for short, was exactly that machine and luckily it did not create a black hole. It initially began as a collaboration between 10,000 scientists from 100 countries and it cost a total of $8 billion to build, making it one of the most expensive scientific machines ever built. Interestingly enough, not only did the LHC not bring humanity to an end, but it also led to the groundbreaking discovery of a new particle. Number 7. Starfish Prime You would think that the Trinity test would put an end to any nuclear testing of such a large magnitude, but the truth of the matter is, it wasn't, and less than two decades later, another nuclear test by the name of Starfish Prime was conducted. The most terrifying fact about the Starfish Prime test was that they didn't detonate just one nuclear bomb, they used six nuclear weapons and detonated them at an altitude of 250 miles, near the Earth's magnetic field, and this is where things started to go wrong. The electromagnetic pulse that the nuclear weapon caused was much more than the scientists had anticipated. It caused all of the instrumentation to malfunction, and its effect even reached places near the detonation point like Hawaii. Streetlights were knocked out, Alarms went off, and a microwave link of a telephone company was damaged, cutting off any telephone connection between Kaui and other islands. 
the impact that the nuclear weapons of the Starfish Prime wasn't only instantaneous, but it also lasted for years. It created a radiation belt around the Earth and damaged several satellites. Number 6. SETI There are many things in life that should be left alone, mainly because no one knows what would happen if these things get provoked, and by things, we're talking about extraterrestrial beings. It's safe to assume that no one knows whether extraterrestrial beings exist or they simply are a figment of imagination or the topic of many science fiction films. Unfortunately, humans keep probing about this topic, wanting to find out more about whether life exists on other planets or not. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI for short, is a collective term that involves projects, investigation, experiments, whose sole purpose is to search for intelligent extraterrestrial life. So, if planet Earth ever gets colonized by extraterrestrials in the future, we know who to blame. Number 5. New Zealand's Project Seal Tsunamis are one of the most destructive natural disasters that could happen to us. No matter how many precautions people take, the impact that tsunami has is immeasurable. The idea of New Zealand's Project Seal was based on artificially creating a tsunami and weaponizing it during the war. They had the perfect plan to create this man-made tsunami. They were going to detonate 4,400,000 pounds of explosives off the coast to create a wave similar to that of a tsunami. While they did experiment with this idea with small-scale explosions, they never went any further than that with Project Seal. It's believed that if they had, the destruction that it would have had would have been similar to the detonation of an atomic bomb. Number 4. Project Storm Fury Project Storm Fury was the United States' attempt to limit the destruction that a hurricane caused by taming them. Years before the project, six hurricanes caused a staggering $6 billion in damage and claimed the lives of hundreds of people, so they want to put an end to hurricanes once and for all. So scientists came up with an experiment that could potentially tame hurricanes. They dropped more than 180 pounds of dry ice into the destructive hurricane. It was announced that their experiment did modify the hurricane, but unfortunately, everything quickly backfired. Instead of taming the hurricane, the experiment caused the hurricane to change direction and destroyed a town in Georgia instead. Not only did the experiment fail, but it also led to the ban of any future weather-changing experiments, as they can be quite unpredictable. Number 3. Oil-Eating Superbugs Thinking outside the box to come up with solutions for a damaging problem like oil spills is great, but to a certain degree, especially when it comes to nature. Indian scientist and microbiologist Ananda Mohan Chakraparty wanted to find a solution to get rid of oil spills and save the planet in the process. So, he genetically modified a specific species of bacteria with the hopes that it could consume oil and limit pollution. Chakrabarty even applied for a patent for his genetically modified bacteria, and the patent was granted. The Indian scientist experiment indeed paved the way for the usage of genetically modified bacteria and other microorganisms. However, people feared the worst with the oil-eating superbugs. There were fears that the bugs would turn into uncontrollable bacteria that would consume everything within their path and cause an imbalance in nature. Number 2. Weaponizing the Plague Plagues have been responsible for the deaths of millions of people throughout history. For example, you have the Black Death that nearly sent humans to the verge of extinction. The Soviet Union realized they could transform plagues into a biological weapon and essentially use it to wipe out their enemies. Their experiments took place in the 1980s and 1990s, and they were able to create microorganisms that were resistant to heat, cold, and antibiotics. Or in other words, these microorganisms were indestructible. How did anyone find out about this secretive biological weapon that could have possibly triggered another deadly plague? Well, it was all thanks to Soviet defector Vladimir Pasechnik, who came forward with the information. 
He revealed that the Soviet Union was able to genetically modify a bacteria called Yersinia pestis to resist antibiotics. Number 1. Weaponizing Volcanoes If the idea of weaponizing plagues or tsunamis doesn't work for any reason, there was even a more destructive idea that could be done triggering a volcano eruption and using it as a biological weapon was something that the Russian military actually thought of doing and did attempt. With the sole goal of interfering with the Earth's geological processes and disturbing the tectonic plates, four experiments were conducted by the Russian military to test out this idea. Luckily, before things could take a turn for the worse, Experiments involving the disturbance of the Earth's layers were banned. And that's all the science experiments that could have ended the world that we have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And before you go, if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to Weeklypedia and click that notification bell to be alerted whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.